The U.S. and Philippine navies hold combat drills in the West Philippine Sea under the watchful eye of a Chinese warship. Jeff Caparas reports. BRP Davao del Sur, BRP Gregorio del Pilar, and BRP Ramon Alcaraz simultaneously raised the Philippine flag 6 a.m. Wednesday when the three Philippine Navy ships met at the West Philippine Sea. It marked the start of the Maritime Cooperative Activity, or MCA, between the Armed Forces of the Philippines and U.S. Indo-Pacific Command. The MCA is approved by the Mutual Defense Board Security Engagement Board, an umbrella term for routine goodwill activity for participating forces. We've conducted a series of activities. Um, number one, the com check, communication check, wherein we primarily want to ensure connectivity and command and control of participating forces both from the Philippines and as well as from the U.S. Participating forces conducted formation and execution maneuvers for combat operations. The RPUS joint exercise wants to ensure seamless integration of capabilities, at the same time testing our techniques, tactics and procedures on how to go about and address evolving threats and challenges in the maritime domain and also as well as well other um, threats, uh, both um, traditional and non-traditional uh, non -traditional threats. A Chinese warship was spotted while the drills were underway. BRP Alcaraz initiated a radio challenge on the Chinese military vessel. China warship 174, this is Philippine Navy warship 16 in accordance with international and Philippine national laws. You are within Philippine exclusive economic zone. You are not responding. Your refusal to respond will be reported to concerned authorities. Over. The Chinese side did not respond despite repeated attempts by the Philippine Navy to communicate with the People's Liberation Army Navy. As a member of the Armed Forces of the Philippines and of course of the Philippine Navy, we follow a certain policy and guidelines. We call this as the rules of engagement. So uh, this is our Bible in ensuring that in the event of a disruptive, um, at the same time dangerous maneuvers from any other countries that want to disrupt um, the, 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 the DDS exercise, will be uh, uh, obliged to follow this one. The activity area of the second MCA is within the 200 nautical miles exclusive economic zone of the Philippines. The mock combat operations will resume on Thursday still in the West Philippine Sea. Jeff Caparas, ABS-CBN News.